What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Bruja Africana, coming to you all with a tarot reading. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my page and share these videos, y'all. We need to get our numbers up because YouTube is playing ball-headed ass games. But get my numbers up, y'all. Get some people to come over here and watch the videos with y'all and tune into these readings because we need the viewership. And I appreciate each of y'all for tuning in and bringing people with me and sharing with y'all excuse me and sharing my videos i appreciate that and to show you my appreciation i have created a podcast directed at the relationships in hip-hop and r&b in hollywood so y'all go ahead and make some suggestions about people y'all want me to read but without further ado let's go ahead and talk about Lil kim and biggie oh yeah we going deep today so y'all let's go ahead and talk about Lil' Kim and Biggie. I have always had this theory that Lil' Kim was Biggie's soulmate and she was the one that he would have been with had he not um, gotten big in hip hop and gained the popularity that he had prior to his death. I think that um, he and Lil' Kim may have had a situation in several lifetimes that possibly ended the same way that it did now i'm t not talking about his murder but i'm talking about him pushing Lil kim to the side after she was the woman that was there that kind of helped build his big ass up and y'all know that he ain't no looker so Lil kim had to really really truly love him and if you ask the question yes Lil kim was that one from him and she was that one for him um, she was the one for him and he was the one for her, excuse me. They kind of had like this promise to one another that no matter what, like if one or the other made it big or if they both made it big, they would always fuck with each other. They would always, you know, be each other's first love as the young kids say now. Um, he always put Lil' Kim as the girl that was the most important back then and this is prior to faith she was that one she was that one that he had a lot of memories with about not growing up with like kids but they were young together and they kind of grew up together a little bit um <clears throat> the thing with biggie with Lil kim that excited her about him it wasn't his fucking looks y'all but let her tell it he's handsome to her it was more so the thing of his personality and how he treated her at first and the things that he taught her y'all know he taught her how to rap and shit and she thought biggie was really really smart like he could bring things to her that i guess no other dude was giving her he taught her how to embrace her creativity and just love on herself as a product if you will Lil' Kim was cute. She was little. You know, these niggas had this type of affinity towards women like that. So Biggie taught her how to hone in on that. Basically, if you were to kind of give it a... Not a title, but if you were to give it a life example. She was kind of like his bottom bitch, if you will. Lil' Kim um, was that one that he could count on. She was that one. He needs some money, somewhere to sleep. You know, he needs somebody to go steal some shit. Just look at him. She gonna go do that shit for him. And in return, Biggie, I guess, taught her a lot of shit about life or the life that they were living. Um, we all know that he was writing for her creative, creatively, you know. Like, like, she could not rap on her own, but he brought out that side of Lil' Kim that we know and love now. Lil' Kim used to be, I guess, like uh, Scarlet, little thug bitch. But she knew that she was in love with Biggie. And it is what it is, you know, and, or it was what it was. You know, he even somehow taught her some things about herself as a woman or taught her how to take care of herself as a woman he protected Lil' Kim and she felt safe within him and with all of those things he was doing in addition to him you know giving her things when he could but it was more about his heart and the way he treated her it made Lil' Kim fall into the space of yo this is the one for me this is the one that 
I'm going to be with. She didn't necessarily see marriage because I don't think Lil' Kim really wants to get married. But she was like, this is the nigga I'm going to fuck with for the rest of my life. You know, one of them relationships that certain people have when they um be with somebody <clears throat> for a long time. That was what they was going to have going on. But the thing was, you know, the more that Biggie got famous and got into the limelight, he began to change and with beginning to change that nigga started getting options and he started feeling himself shit i mean he knew he was big black and ugly he said it in one more chance but because his money had changed and his status had changed he began to feel like you know i'm that nigga and he began to put and bait those competitions with women in front of Lil' Kim and what I mean is he began to fuck with other women more openly in front of her and it was like the things that he had promised her you know being not loyal but that loyalty that him and Lil' Kim once shared it no longer mattered to him that was no more that that was down the drain she was just Lil' Kim to him now I mean he still fuck on her and shit but you know that promise that I'm saying y'all had that and I'm telling y'all that they may have had between each other <clears throat> that was null and void now shit and look him could feel that he was changing you know she would kind of you know press back with the shit like nigga what the fuck you on you know you supposed to be we supposed to have each other's back no matter what and although biggie would deny the shit look him could feel the change she could see the change in him she started seeing him become more proud and feel like he was more important than her like he started kind of looking down on her started changing up on her start treating her like motherfucking random like he wasn't just fucking on her eating her ass or something you know like she wasn't on the bitch that was giving him some ass at one point but the bigger he got in the entertainment energy in industry excuse me his um expectations for Lil' Kim changed and so did his perception he started being able to objectify and disrespect women I guess he started feeling like he was a little bit fine or something you know fuck his appearance you know he started feeling like Lil' Kim's appearance wasn't enough for him he started feeling like he dating models or excuse me <clears throat> he's fucking models and he has the ability to shit fuck with whoever the fuck he want why should he motherfucking um why should he be um stuck on looking why should it only be her so it was like a thing of he started treating Lil Kim like she was invisible you know the old Lil Kim the old not homely because <clears throat> she's not ugly but the old regular Lil Kim wasn't working for him no more it was more a thing of him starting to feel like she should be glad she can fuck with a nigga like that like that privilege card showed up and kind of made me side on him like nigga did you never run across a mirror no disrespect to big or nothing but you know sometimes when niggas start getting a little bit of paper in their pocket they start changing and start disrespecting the very woman who dealt with him while he was just ugly ass christopher he even had the audacity to start that shit up with her body and the way her body looked. That's why Lil' Kim started getting that fucking surgery. Yeah, she got beat up by a boyfriend or whatever, but he started it. He started the shit with the, you know, light-skinned girls were prettier than her and shit, you know. And then him having, again, the ability to fuck with different bitches and having more options now that he has money and privilege he's getting the attention that his big ass wasn't getting at first so he felt like fuck it Lil' Kim can you know just be there if I need her if I want her you know let her just hang around he started really really feeling his goddamn self because honey ain't nowhere has notorious B.I.G. ever been a cute man a handsome man a sought after man other than for some money nothing but because he became the notorious big if you will like i said Lil kim was no longer enough she was regular to him now he didn't want a regular girl you know and not only that <clears throat> he ran into faith and once he ran into faith and started fucking with faith Lil kim was really up out of there he like i really ain't fucking with her you know he um turn his back on Lil' Kim like she really didn't matter anymore once Faith got in the picture she was number one and you can't do nothing but respect the fact that he did that because that's his wife you know but 
He didn't have to do Lil' Kim like that. He even got to the point to where that she wasn't even, like, kind of welcome around him because him and Faith had gotten married. And that wasn't just his only his doing. It was, and it's just my opinion. Y'all don't have to agree with me. I feel like Faith might have did spell work to get Biggie all to herself or what she presumed to be all to herself simply because he served a purpose. He served a purpose in her life and that was to get her own and get her popping and hip hop and R&B so she can make her own goddamn money. And the problem was, you know, Lil' Kim would be trying to tell him that something wasn't right with Faith. She would be saying, I don't like the bitch or whatever, and not communicating it as maybe she should have, causing, you know, drama to appear between the two of them. But at first, she was scared to say anything because Biggie was really caught up under Faith's motherfucker. Faith had his nose open, shit. Don't say nothing about my wife type shit. So Lil' Kim was scared to point out the fact that she feel like, Yo, somebody done threw some juju on you, nigga. That's why you all caught up under this motherfucking yellow bitch. Like, that's why you all obsessed with yellow bitches. They honed in on the shit that you had already buried within you, that colorism. And they heightened that shit and made you be all stuck up under faith. But Big wasn't trying to hear that. He like, bitch, don't talk about my wife type energy. It is what it is. This is my wife. You just, you was somebody I used to fuck with. In the story, it was like he started treating Lil' Kim really, really bad in the face of Faith. Even though he was cheating on Faith, he was still doing every fucking thing to Faith. It was the point of Faith, like, taking Lil' Kim out of the equation because she knew that Lil' Kim was his soulmate. And there are those bitches that come along, or those people, let me put it like that, that will stand purposely in the way knowing that someone else is supposed that the person they fucking with supposed to be with somebody else and they'll stand in the way until they get what they need and then they'll toss that motherfucker back to the streets so that that person that they took him from can have broken up pieces of him that was what faith's um i that was what her um objective was of being with big <clears throat> getting all that she can get out of him making him you know stuck on her and defensive and you know caught up on her and when she's done with him she was gonna toss him away look him on the other hand just fell back she like you know what i ain't finna keep arguing with this nigga about this witchy ass bitch she done put a curse on you it is what it is i'm gonna stand down and just you know wait because she didn't move on she i mean she fucked with a couple other dudes but she was still waiting for biggie honey she was not playing when she said that you know this was her one and even in his death she still acknowledges him as you know that's the one that, that i wanted to be with it was him now at first you know she was kind of not fucking with you know getting spiritual readings and shit and people pulling his energy so that she can talk to him but now she's fully with the shits you know she's like all right he's visiting me anyway and he comes to visit me often so she gets to visit and talk to big as much as she liked to and she's still a little bit fucked up about his death <clears throat> i don't think she'll ever get over his death like i said they've got many lifetimes together he's probably been murdered before in a lifetime because a woman ultimately put some juju on him and caused him to be in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong individual but anyway in his death he's very apologetic to Lil Kim he um wants her to be at peace with where they are and not necessarily how they ended but be at peace with the fact that she knows that she was that one for him regardless to whatever else went on regardless to the fact that he married Faith any of that shit it was always Lil' Kim, and he comes back and he reminds her of that. And I'm glad that Lil' Kim has accepted that. She ain't gonna never be at peace, though, until she, you know, finds her a new man. Because she can't get over Biggie. Hell, that's why her baby looks like Biggie. Because she wishes that her daughter was by Notorious Big, by the love of her life. The man that was essentially stolen from her twice. But at least Lil' Kim is at peace with it. And she knows that Big is and was her soulmate. Alright, y'all.